Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to talk about how the Google IT certification has helped me within my own professional career. So to start off the video, let's go ahead and talk about the actual certification itself. So the Google IT certification is a pretty introductory level, beginner level IT certification that anyone can really get. You don't have to have any background knowledge on IT. Um, you can go ahead and just start learning and take the course um, in order to get a basic understanding of IT concepts and fundamentals. I'm gonna go ahead and leave an affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in taking the Google IT certification. But to start off, pretty much this course took me about, I'd say two to three weeks to complete. So nothing too crazy. I did it part-time while I went to school and while I worked as well. And I did it on the side whenever I had an extra free time um, throughout the entire three weeks. Um, there are a couple labs, there are a couple multiple choice questions, there's a bunch of reading that you have to do and watching videos, um, but at, by no means is it boring at all. It was really engaging and I learned a lot of concepts. Um, they didn't really go too deep into each of the concepts, they kind of give you a general understanding, uh, fundamental understanding of the IT concepts. Um, but I think overall, I think it's a great course to, to look into, especially if you're a beginner or someone who's transitioning into the IT industry. I think it's a great place to start and let me tell you why. Now, before I go ahead and explain to you guys why I think it's a good course to take and how it's benefited me, by no means am I getting paid by Google or Coursera to say these things. I'm actually gonna give you guys my honest feedback of this course. All right, let me go ahead and start off by talking about how I believe this certification has helped me within my career so far. So after I went ahead and took this certification about two to three weeks later, I went ahead and started to apply to a bunch of different jobs um, just to see what kind of jobs I could land with certification, uh, what kind of jobs would give me interviews. So as a senior, I was applying to all these different jobs and out of these jobs, I'd say about two to three of them uh, actually reached back to me for an interview. And after all of these interviews, I actually landed one of the jobs and it was a technical role over at Apple Retail. I wouldn't say it's the most technical facing job. It's not like directly in the IT industry. But it is a part-time job, especially now while I'm still in college, a part-time job that will keep me within the uh, technology industry and I believe would look pretty good within my resume to prepare me to apply for those full-time jobs once I graduate. If you're still in high school or you're still in college, I believe this would be a perfect certification to take in order to get those more technical facing jobs uh, to prepare yourself once you graduate and lo are looking for full-time job because I believe this certification can help you get those part-time technology IT facing jobs uh, while you're still in school in order to set yourself up once you graduate and are looking for that full-time job. I know what you're thinking now, Ben, uh, you know, cool, you got a retail job that, that has to do with technology, but really how has this helped you? But I also believe this certification helped me in another way on top of helping me get this part-time job while I'm still in school. Let me go ahead and talk to you guys about that right now. As I said before, I'm currently a full-time college student. And as a college student, it's in your best interest to go ahead and apply to internships throughout the summer. So with my part-time job and with my Google IT certification, I went ahead and applied to a bunch of different internships last summer. They had to do with technology, with IT, with business consulting, all those different internships, I'd say about 20 to 30 of them. Last summer, I went ahead and landed an IT internship with a big four consulting firm. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link up here talking about my IT experience as a technology intern within a big four consulting firm. I pretty much talked about my entire experience, what I learned, I and mean, then how you guys can land one as well. Now, obviously these companies that have IT internship openings, they don't expect you to know everything right from the get go. Um, you just have to be willing to learn and you have to be a cool person to work with. I think it's the main thing uh, that they're really looking for in interns. And that can be shown through your resume. And that can be shown through the interview process as well. Now, having this certification on my resume while I was applying to these internships, I believe it helped me uh, because of the fact that it shows that you're willing to learn. I think that's a huge part of internships. And if they see that on your resume, it can be reflected from your resume. I believe you have a really good chance of getting that internship uh, just because the IT certification pretty much shows that you're taking time out of your own free time to take these courses and to learn more about the IT industry. It shows that you're self-driven. It shows that you're willing to learn. 
And those two things are huge when it comes to internships. Now, all of these different things that I'm talking to you about right now is all part of an overarching goal to set myself up for success after college. So as of right now, I wanna make my resume look as good as possible to possibly get a full-time job once I graduate. So right now, I have the certification, the Google IT certification. I have the part-time job that looks pretty good. I also have internship experience from a big four consulting firm. And what I explained right there is pretty much the entire reason why we take these IT certifications. We take these IT certifications to learn, to put them on our resume to look good, and then use that resume and use our knowledge to get ourselves into positions that will set ourselves up for success. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you gained a lot of value from the video. And I hope you learned a lot from my experience with the Google IT certification. Once again, if you're interested in taking the course, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below you guys can use to check out this course. But with that being said, go ahead and drop me a like and also go ahead and subscribe and join the family for more videos coming in the future. But with that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.